All right, y'all, today we're gonna show you guys how to catch some ribbon fish, also known as cutlass fish. We got Rachel's mom here. Yee, yee, yee. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna show you how to catch them today using some ballyhoo. All right, guys, so we're using some of the best saltwater bait. We're catching some ballyhoo. We came out here at night to catch them. Just bring a nice cast net and a spotting light. And if you find schools of glass minnows, these guys will be right behind them. So we've been cast netting them, and we're using a nice kind of bobber rig, floating rig. We've got a popping cork, about two feet a liter. And we're casting out right in this current seam. And just land the current, take the bobber along with the ballyhoo down below. And we're getting lit up. So we're gonna show you how to use this rig, best saltwater bait to catch some cutlass fish, also known as ribbon fish. They're super cool, they look prehistoric, fun fish to catch, and they are a delicacy in Japan. We're gonna do some catching and cooking with these crazy things. Let's go. Best slot bait you can get right here. Come out at night, find schools of glass minnows, and they'll be right behind. Let's go catch that some more. All right, so I'm looking for a school of glass minnows, preferably if they're jumping, because that means they're getting chased by these valley hoo. And generally right behind the school of glass minnows, there's gonna be a school of valley hoo. So look for that, find glass minnows, you find valley hoo, all right? Here, man. There we go. That's what we're going for. Ballyhoo. And look, there's a glass minnow. All right, peas in the pod, baby, peas in the pod. Damn, you got a ton in there. All right, now that we got our bait, let's talk about this rig. And this rig's very important because these cutlass fish and ribbon fish, they feed differently. They feed vertically. So let's say this is his head and tail. They're like standing straight up in the water. So you can't be used in the classic, you know, two drop bottom rigs because they're just not going to see it. That's why we're using a floating rig. Keep the bait above them. Whoosh, that's how you're going to catch them. All right. So make sure targeting ribbon fish. You're going to want to target the upper level of the water column. Definitely going to increase your hookups. Ballyhoo, 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 ballyhoo. One tip. They're attracted to the light, so you can either get some light up bobbers and that'll attract them to your bait. We didn't have time to get those, so we're using a nice big spotlight, shine it on the bobber, and that's gonna bring the ribbon fish in. They're really attracted to the light, so that's key. So we'll link to some nice light up bobbers below, or you can get one of these really nice flashlights. Huge spotlight, it's been working like a charm. They've just been hitting the bobber too, missing the bait. Let's catch a ribbon fish now, baby. <laughs> oh, I think I saw it. I right, cast it back out there. Oh, ribbon fish! Get him in, get him in! Get the cooler? I don't know, but. Here, look. Oh, yeah, baby! Look at that! That's a sea monster, deep sea sea monster! Woo -hoo -hoo. All right guys, so we just got this ribbon fish back at the house. Now we're gonna show you how to fillet and clean it up so you can eat it. It's a pretty standard fillet job. I'm just gonna make a diagonal cut along the backside of the fish. Just like that. All right, and then all you gotta do is turn the knife and uh, run it down the back here. You're gonna have a line of bones in the middle that we're gonna take out. And we're gonna trim off that red meat right there because usually red meat and fish is more fish tasting and we don't really want that when we're eating it. So we're gonna take it out. So you see that little sort of white line? That's what we're gonna follow and get the bones out.
There we go, that has no bones in it now. Same thing to the other side. Turn this gut off. There you go, look at all this meat. It's supposed to taste like a mix between flounder and speckled trout, and it's a delicacy in Japan. So, I'm just gonna go do that to the other side, and we'll have our meat ready to cook. There you go, that is one cleaned up ribbon fish, and it's ready for the grill. You don't need to take the skin off these guys. There's no real red meat line between the skin and the meat, so you're good to go. Um, cook them up any way you want. There you go guys, that's how you catch and clean a ribbon fish. You can cook it up any way you like. It's gonna taste great. Fry it, grill it, stuff it with crab. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All those are gonna be great options. If you wanna learn more about saltwater fishing, go check out this playlist right here. It'll take you through some different species that we love to catch and eat and provide you all the information you need to constantly be successful in the saltwater. See y'all there.